left behind by Sandy. Eyewitness News reporter Oren Lieberman joins us now in Dewey Beach with the latest there. Oren? Well, we have a pretty good look at some of the damage here from a third floor deck on the bay side of Dewey Beach, but it's important to note that Governor Jack Markell says Delaware dodged a bullet. For a time, Sandy was headed right this way until it angled northward, and it looked like there was going to be some very serious damage here. There is some serious damage, but it's nothing like it is compared to the Jersey Shore. Let's take a look down from this third floor deck here. You can see those are pilings behind us on the Indian River Bay that's come up. That's actually we're near high tide for the bay, not for the ocean, but for the bay. It's washed away the docks there and washed away a few boats. There's actually around this corner a sunken boat that you can't see took out a boat. You can see a lot of water on the streets here, maybe nearly as much as a foot in some places and still coming up, but not as bad as the Delaware coast was ready to handle or was expecting from Sandy. A little more northward here, you can see that there's a floating jet ski dock, one of those that you can pull a jet ski right up onto it. The homeowner here has no idea where that came from. That is a function of the power of the wind that picked stuff up here, dumped it in the water and just pushed it all around. Some of the roads here on the bay side flooded. You can take a look right up the road here. We'll keep on looking up. Water along these streets, a lot of debris and garbage, and that's going to be the bigger issue now. A lot of these roads closed. Let's take a look at some video now. This is video from other streets along Dewey Beach. We did some traveling along Dewey Beach just to see where the damage is. First shot here, this is a propane tank that was taken down a few blocks south of us near the rusty rudder. You can even smell propane leaking from that tank, so they will have some very serious cleanup issues. Still safer to stay inside. The, uh, the roads are clear in some places, still a lot of debris on the roads. That does not mean, however, that it's safe to go outside. Governor Jack Markell says they're still working on trying to figure out when those roads will be accessible, when they can lift the, the uh, evacuation, when they can let some of those evacuees back in their homes. The ocean side, not nearly as bad. We were worried it would breach the dune, that the ocean would come up and wreck the boardwalk in Rehoboth Beach. That did not happen. Again, not as bad as expected. Here's what we heard from some of the homeowners here. Governor Markell got it right. We dodged a bullet. Uh, I was concerned when I woke up this morning. I, uh, I, e I texted the town manager and the chief of police, and I was most concerned that, the, that if the dunes were, were violated. Uh, the bay did come up on Reed Street, where one of the lower streets now uh, did go up to the median on Route 1. Um, some of the cottages did take some water. For the most part, folks uh, do have minimal internal damage from what I can see walking around. So yeah, we, we were really lucky. All right, we'll get back to Orrin Lieberman a little bit uh -huh. later on right now. We do want to get to uh, 